Bye bye. I can't wait to meet you. My life was great till you added colors. Like the moon needs to sun, we don't care about the others. Hey, babe. Hey, guys. I am. We are at Coronado Beach in San Diego. And I just want to. We just want to announce our. Oh. Oh yeah. So, hello everybody. So, I am the main guy behind the scene. And I just want to say we are so excited. We are super excited to announce. <laughs> All right. And uh, I know she already say this, but we was thinking about like, you know, why don't we let our whole YouTube family uh, watch the whole journey? Yep, we want to include you guys through the whole journey. <laughs> hey, what you guys think? What you guys want to see that? We're going to announce the gender pretty soon too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So you want to ask them any questions because you love asking questions. And my question of the day is what are your, what do you guys, um, what do you call it, tips for first time mom? <laughs> Our YouTube channel before we get started today you know I always ask my question and my question for today is what are some tips that you guys have for first time mom me <laughs> so um, I really really need all the tips and tricks that you guys can give me for my first time so just leave me a comment down below and I would like to thank you guys all for answering me back okay and today's Nails will be doing some multiple color marble with some white gel and some gold little leaves on top of the nail. It's kind of simple but kind of cool. Not that, not that easy. But anyways, check it out, guys. Alright guys, I have the not polished universal tips on and I am going to start with number N10. You see how thin and runny I made it? We want it like that because I am going for a marble look, okay guys? And this orange is number 108 from not polished also. And it's a lighter orange so I am going to go in again with a little bit more of the product to darken up the orange like this. Make sure they're super runny because we want them to bleed into each other. That's the whole purpose of a marble nail, right? Making sure that it just naturally bleeds into each other. And this number is number 106. And just super, just super thin and very runny. We want that, okay? And this number is G09. It's also a glow in a dark color. This blue is a glow color, okay guys? And then again, make sure they're runny and just let them, I'm just kind of like dapping them around the nail. I'm just, there's not much, too much of a technique to it. I'm just kind of moving the acrylic into each other and let them just run into each other like so. There you go. And you just go back to wherever area that you think needs to be darkened up a bit. You just do that. There you go. I'm just dapping my acrylic all over the nail like this. And 
and now that is done i am gonna go in and add some more of the pink at the very end of the nail like this i'm just kind of brushing a little bit of the pink on just a tad Right now that is done i am going to go in with a nude number 102 if i'm not polished and we're gonna put it right above where that pink is at first and we're gonna pull it down there you go and then again for the second bead i am gonna go close to the cuticles without touching and just kind of lightly push it into the cuticles like so and if you feel like it's a little too light because I did pick up only a bit of uh, product. So I'm going to go back in with a little bit more. And that should be good. And we're just going to darken up the orange just a tad right there. It's almost like a brushing motion, I guess. <laughs> there you go. Just kind of brush it on a little bit of product just to darken up the orange. And make sure this is dry before I go in with the crystal clear powder to encapsulate, okay? Now that is dry, I'm gonna place the crystal clear close to the cuticles and now I am gonna push it into the cuticles and pull it all the way down. The reason why I did it all the way to the cuticle this time is because the nude was kind of thin at the cuticles. Other than that, if your nude is already thick at the cuticles, make sure you don't place the clear all the way up there, okay? And now we're just gonna cut it off like that. And just kind of clean your brush first and then press everything into the shape that you want. And as you guys can see, I've been obsessed with coffin nails. All right, for this nail, we're gonna go straight up to the cuticles. Make sure you make it really round around the cuticles like so, and then lightly pull it down. As you can see how thin I made the pink. You want to make all the colors thin because we're gonna encapsulate this nail also. And while the pink is still wet, I am gonna place my orange directly on it like this. We want the two products to bleed into each other, so make sure they're still both wet, okay? And now I am just gonna go add a little bit more orange to it and just lightly dab it together and the two color will bleed into each other. Then, you can see how wet it is by how shiny the product is when I place on this purple. Now, I'm just gonna let them bleed into each other like that. And again, we're gonna go in with the blue. And then now that's done, I am going to go back to the cuticles and make sure that I add the product close to the cuticles so it does not look like your nails are already grown out. There you go. And now that is done, we're going to go add a little bit more of the purple in there just to make sure that it's dark enough. And I'm just dapping it on, brushing it on very lightly. And make sure while doing this, you still keep the products on the thinner side. And again, I'm going to go in and add the little pink at the end like the other nail. Alright, now we're going to go in with the crystal clear powder. And I'm place it close to the cuticles. And then I'm going to clean my brush, dip it in a little bit monomer. And now I am going to let it flush into the cuticles. And for the rest, I am going to press and pull it all the way down to the tip of the nail and make sure you keep the shape of the nail while doing so there you go we're just going to cut it off right there and press it back into the tip all right i push a little too hard right there because the fingernails no the nail tip kind of slid off a little bit off the finger i mean does that make sense anyways 
I was trying to push it back into it and it was still wet. So don't do that, okay? And now my intro was a little long today. So I'm just going to skip the hand filing and the buffing and the drill. And it, I'll just go straight into the finished product for you guys right here. There you go. And now I am just going to paint on a white gel. Just paint it wherever you want. It doesn't have to be perfect, as you can see. And now that is done, I am going to use a tiny brush dip in acetone. And I am going to let it melt the polish like this. It's going to dissolve the polish and give it like a marble effect. There you go. Just move it around. It does not have to be perfect or going a certain way. You just push it, put it on whichever direction you want. And same goes for this nail. Again, just brush the gel on wherever you guys want. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect like this. And now I'm just gonna go in with the gel, I mean the acetone again. And just let it melt the polish away to give it more of a marble effect. And then when this is done, I am gonna stick the entire hand under the UV lights and cure it for 30 seconds. And now that is cure, I am just gonna go on and brush on the transfer gel from not polish also, just wherever you want it to be. And now I am gonna use the gold foil and just stick it on there. Make sure you don't put a lot because you don't want it to cover up your whole marble design just give it a little bit of a gold flakes it's fine same goal for this finger I did not brush a lot of the transfer gel on because I do not want the gold a lot of gold to be stuck to the finger so I'm just gonna what I did was just very lightly brush it on and now that is done we're gonna go in with the not polish gloss it top coat and just finish it off and put it on the whole nail there you go and make sure you clean off the edges before you cure it under the light because what happened is the gel like to run off on the edges a little bit and ruin the shape of your nail so just make sure you brush it off and then I mean make sure you wipe it off and then cure it under the light okay guys there you go make sure you clean it again usually I paint five finger and then I clean but I don't know I just got a little bit confused right there and this is the finished product of the little marble nails do you think about that video and if you like it make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to ring that bell and do not forget forget to you know leave a comment about you know the tips for me see you guys later for more cool videos more cool tutorials and our previous videos and whatnot make sure you click on the link over here and over here <laughs> over here <laughs> he said over there <laughs> see you guys later you can use